Psalm 91, 16. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. This week we come to the high point of this psalm, answering the question, will you see God's salvation? Going back to verse 14, the emphasis now falls on our love of God and how this love brings about deliverance. In facing Satan and sin and meeting doubts and disbelief, we have been able to overcome by placing God as our shield against all evil. Even his angels help to guide our steps and now our Lord is ready to reveal himself to us. Moses, who is believed to be the author of this psalm, had a very close relationship with the Lord. Standing before the burning bush at Sinai, Moses asked what God's name is. And the response, I am that I am, is given. Here, Yahweh, or Jehovah, reveals an intimate detail. But Moses ends up not being content in this knowledge, not because he wanted something more than what was permitted, but in growing in his relationship with Jehovah, he saw that there was much more to understand about God. Yes, a name reveals character, but I am lacked a fullness, and Moses asked God to reveal this by revealing his glory, and this our Lord did. There on Sinai, protected in a split in the rocks, God passed by, revealing his compassion and love. Even this still pales in comparison to the rich depth of God's character. But because we know God, and even though it is a small knowledge compared to his infinite vastness, a promise is made that our deepest desires to know who He is will be satisfied. Having made our way through life and even possibly the seven last plagues as a part of the sealed remnant, the 144,000, God will show us His salvation. So yes, we will see God's salvation. Trust to Him every fiber of your being and He will satisfy the longing of your soul for all eternity. As always, Aranatha.